Hey everybody, welcome back to this Weirs and Waterfalls series for Planet Coaster. In the previous video I made this log weir, which I'm now um, dismantling in order to try the next project, which is to try a weir that is more like a dam, a, a man-made dam structure with an arch in it, that the, and the water flows through the arch. This means I don't have to worry too much about the uh, visual effect of the water jumping up and over the land bridge between the higher and lower water level so that's good um, but what I was thinking about was the manner in which the water would flow through the arch and how that would look and that proved to be a bit of a challenge as you'll see coming up the first thing I had to do was get rid of the excess uh, water flow and then grab my arch piece and position it um, over, over part of the water flow, get rid of all the extra uh, water jets and then uh, positioning some rocks and so on to just get, get the whole process started visually so I've got uh, some cues to work from and then I, I messed around with these jets quite a bit trying to get the flow of the thing to look right and I, I was not happy with it for quite a while I was 10, 15, 20 minutes of micro fiddling the jet directions and uh, angles to see if I could get that flow to look right and it, it just for quite a long time wasn't looking particularly good at all but eventually um, I positioned the brickwork and the rocks and the arch so that it just felt like it looked like weirs I'd naturally you know I'd seen in in real life um, where water is flowing through an archway like that so uh, at that point, I widened the weir to give me a bit more of a, a big picture view of what was going on, cleaned up the rocks, cleaned up the terrain, so that it, um, it wasn't poking unnaturally through the, the weir structure. I had to be careful there because it, you know, occasionally accidentally delete the, um, the waterway and then have to use uh, the undo to get that back, so it pays not to overshoot too far with those. Uh, and then I got to work on the upstream side of the weir. Now, I didn't like the perception of the of the water sort of accelerating from completely stable to this ferocious speed that you get when you use the jets. Uh, so I experimented with the splashy fountains um, special effect and hit a few of those in the wall and got some ripple effects going so that it looks like the water on the top side is is not quite stationary it is moving uh, under the um, upstream side of the arch and starting to gather momentum as it rushes through the arch and pops out the other side so once I've got enough of the splashy fountains in place I think I tried uh, different sizes and um, the four and eight meter version of it to see uh, what looked best but in the end um, I mean, there might be eight or nine or ten of them under there uh, we got I got it looking reasonably satisfactory from the top not entirely happy with it I'm not sure if I would use it um, in a park in this exact format but I think the skills of uh, getting the upstream side of it looking gentle and the downstream side of it looking like it's pouring out of the archway I was pretty happy that if I had to do that again I could uh, so I think that looks okay if you had to go at that I'm sure you'd be able to improve on it and um, I think at that point it was just a matter of getting into it with the usual greenery and decorations and underwater green leafy bushes as usual to uh, make it look like there's some weeds uh, growing in the base of the, um, the waterways and I surrounded it with uh, bushes or trees until eventually I thought it looked good as a composite picture. Uh, in the next video I'm going to throw a pile of chaotic logs uh, into a, a weir type structure and see if I can get it looking something like a beaver dam. Um, now I'll have to refer to a couple of pictures on the internet for that because I haven't actually ever seen a beaver dam. We don't have beavers where I live. Um, so I'm not really sure precisely what a beaver dam looks like, but um, I think it would look quite neat. So I'll give that a try. And then after that, I'll uh, have a go at a more natural looking waterfall, basically just water cascading down rocks, although quite a few people have done that. So uh, I think at that point, I'll 
pull the pin on this series and say that's that's good enough and hopefully um, these videos are, have been of use to some of you who might be trying to get water flowing in your um, Planet Coaster parks. So I finished up just with this bit of the usual um, combo of trying ivy and seaweed and so on to make it uh, look a bit more uh, colourful around the brickwork there and then yeah, yeah that's it basically. So look that's it for this video and I'll see you next time when uh, I have a go at building a, a, beer, a beaver dam version of a weir and then uh, after that is the natural waterfall. So thank you for watching and I will see you again next time. Bye bye.